Right guys, welcome to a beer review. I brewed this beer, it's probably been about a month in the bottle now, so probably six, seven weeks ago. And it's Craytube's Polish Pale Ale. And this is kind of a conclusion to the video. The taste test, if you will. One chilled bottle. A reasonably gentle pour because it looks quite lively. We'll stop there. Massive carbonation. I don't know if you're picking it up on the camera, but look, it's climbing out the glass. This was my first attempt at batch priming as well. Using Brewer's Friend. Absolutely going crazy. It's probably a nucleated glass actually that's helping that along. I don't know if everybody sees, I'm sure it is, but. It is what it is. Now, I remember watching um, Craig review his a long time ago. And he said it tasted like a lozenge. And I remember laughing at the time thinking how can a beer taste like a lozenge but I can see what he's saying quite malty considering it was a kilo of light malt extract it was a tin of Cooper's light malt extract and a little bit of dextrose thrown in so I expect it to have a malty taste with all that malt going in. But it's got to be the hops, which I've never had those Polish hops before, which you'll see in the making of the video. I won't even attempt to pronounce them now. Not without the packet here. That's a good beer though. <clears throat> Obviously well carbonated. As you can see. I think it was around the 5% mark. 4.5-5%. But it's clean, it's refreshing. It's my first all extract beer. I've obviously I've done the tins and the pre hop tins, but I've never done a all malt beer and added my own hops. This is the first time I've done it. And for these light beers, it works. <coughs> I would not know that was a home brew. With some of the kits I can pick up that kit twang if you like. But on this one. I didn't label this one. On this one it's a clean beer. Cannot knock it. So, if you're thinking of doing a pale ale style beer for the summer, I'd give it a go, definitely. Definitely would give it a go. I, will, I would brew it again, without question. Uh, 
lovely, lovely beer. You get quite silly on those, I think. They're quite sessionable. And there's not massive flavour, but it's much more than the pre-hop kits. Obviously, because you added those hops in. But a winner. All right, guys, that's the conclusion of that little segment of Polish Pale Ale. I don't think you can argue with the head and the lacing on that. It looks good. Tastes good. What more can you ask for? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.